Hey, I'm Rita Cook. And I'm Tommy Scott. And this is ECP TV. All right. I'm glad that our camera misfunctions, malfunctions, functions that are not working are finally over with, we hope. We and got the function at the junction. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal with the, this week's paper. We have a dog in Ferris, a canine dog in Ferris. He, it's, um, she's a, it's, it's a he or she. Her name was Coco. Do you know if it's a he or she, Tom? We always get yelled at. I wasn't. I didn't even know this because they had they saved it actually from a rescue service, and it's pit bull. And Tommy said before the camera came on that he stays away from dogs because he doesn't. No, like I dogs. didn't say dog. I say I don't want to interrupt the police dog. I don't need to meet the Do police dog. Do you have experience dog. with that? I don't want to meet the police dog. Okay. I know the, the police dogs it, are cool. The dog is not supposed to be. Let me tell you about dogs. When you have a dog like that, you don't like a lot of people around the dog. Right. No, they like it to just be like one, yeah. One on them, one yeah, person. Yeah. See, and, that, and it works better that way. Right. If you, everybody go to petting and messing with the dog, I have the dog and let everybody walk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when Lancaster got their dog, not the, um, Kira is the latest dog, but they had another dog, and they had just got the dog, and I was helping the police officer train, um, trained the dog on how to look for missing people. It was a drug dog. And I remember it was so cute because they were putting like ham out. I was pretending like I was missing and they were trying to, the dog was trying to find me. It was really cool. But yeah, that dog turned out to be a good dog. Well, that's great. Um, the new police chief in Red Oak for the ISD is Philip Prasifka. I can't believe I said that right. That's a hard scene. Can you say Prasifka? Pacifica. Pacifica. <laughs> he was the police chief in Glen Heights and then he went down near Waco to a city down there and now he's back. He's very, he said he's very, very happy to be back to the Metroplex, and we're very happy because he was a cool chief, and I really liked working with him. I was sad when he left. So, Representative Carl Sherman distributed masks to Wilmer last week to the police department there, and um, I think he he also um, gave masks this week to DeSoto and Cedar Hill and different places as well. Well, that's good. So, yeah, so we're still doing the mask thing, and it's already August, and... You know, I don't know how long we're going to... Yesterday, I went into a Walmart, and I felt really suffocated with that mask because it's so hot out. Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, it's going to... You know, it's like every 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 other disease we've had. We've had... We've had... In, our, in my lifetime, we've had mumps, we had chicken pox, had measles, and we then, had SARS a couple of years ago. Huh? We had SARS, but we didn't get those. You're talking about like the ones that we had when we were kids. kids. You know, yeah. we had these things. Now you got, we're in, we in a new, it's a new generation, a new time. Right. You're in the 20th century, 21st or whatever. 21st and century, yeah. So. 21st century man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on now, you're going to have changes. And right. Now, you know, I can't really stand up and say someone put this out there on us, you know, because I don't have any evidence. Well, I think that has been proven that it's a man-made. Yeah. Yeah. And and I don't know why they're screwing around with stuff like that. That's really crazy. Because some people you got enough stuff going on without adding to it. I mean, you know, some people just don't get the big picture. Right. And then you some know. people don't realize there is a big picture that we don't even realize. Yeah. That's what's scary. They step over the line. And, you know, one of these days, they, they better stop it, because one of these days, there's stuff like that you don't need. Why are you creating that anyway? I don't know. There's a, you what, know what, you're in a laboratory just sitting around going, hmm, let me see. I think today, I'm going to mix this up and see how this comes out. I think there's a lot of stuff going on in the world that we just don't even realize. <laughs> yeah, so. they're in there with the lab rats, and they're doing all kind of stuff. Well, and then they stumble up on something. Not, not, I mean, actually stumble up on it. And then they don't know how to fix it. Well, I think there's probably a vaccine. I think I saw something the other day that Bill Gates is promoting something. that, like, So, 1964, we all had these um, vaccinations that you can tell if somebody was born after 64 because they don't have this mark on them. But he wants to do something like that. But then it goes a little bit deeper where... They might want to put a chip into the vaccine, and there's videos out, and they're not like you know conspiracy theory videos because I'm I'm tired of the whole conspiracy theory thing. There's people that want you to think one well, way. Well, well, I'm another. gonna tell you about this. I don't want no chip in me. Well, I'm not doing it, and I say that, and then it's like you never say never. But um, why you want to put a chip in us? No, that sounds like cattle. Well, yeah, that sounds like doing okay. It with pets right now, <laughs> so they can track you. Yeah, how they want to do it. Well, we know where you are. Yeah, uh, you know. I mean, they can do it with our. 
phones right now, but we at least have a choice whether or not we want to take our phone with us. We know we're being tracked if that's the case. Yeah. No, there's something crazier going on than... Um, They'll yeah. let it on. Yeah, exactly. So, look, hey, I want to talk about the tiny homes for a minute. Okay. You guys went down to San Antonio. You, Brooks Williams, the city manager for Ferris, and the, our producer went down to San Antonio a couple of days ago and looked at the tiny homes down there. Yes. What did you guys walk away with, knowledge-wise? Well, we think it's something for everyone. Lamar has something. Lamar Homes, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, they have something for everybody. Right. Everyone. That's more or less what we're looking at is that. Price ranges. Right, which is about 130000 to start. Yeah. Like 450 square feet up. Okay. Uh, you know, right. and it goes, the price, the prices are different for the different sizes. Right, okay? right. But it's a, it's like having, it's like having, okay, this family over here, you know, everybody wants somewhere to live. Right. <laughs> yes. I mean, come on. That is one thing that we and have in common. <laughs> we, you know, if you noticed in the COVID-19, they was on TV talking about they were going to evict these people if they didn't pay this and you right. don't pay that. Right. Well, if you miss a couple of weeks of work, you know, it depends on what you make a month. Right. Can I, can I, pay, my, can I pay my mortgage? Can I pay my rent? Yeah. You know, we're, we're looking at all these things. Right. Because if you get out of a job, you know, and you get behind, <laughs> and your payment, is, you get behind three months, now it's $1,500. Oh, yeah, it's hard to catch up after you're behind. So, no, this is a good idea. Let's talk more about that later. Um, we're running out of time, I believe. So, I think that, is there anything else we want to talk about? Not really. I just want to remind everybody that on the back of the, pa in the back page of the paper, we are going through... Um, the Constitution, and you can read about the different amendments if you don't know, because I think a lot of people have forgotten what the Constitution says. So, um, Article 4 was in last week's paper, and Article 5 was in this week's paper, Protection of Rights to Life, Liberty, and Property. I think we all need to read the Constitution over again. Well, it, 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 <laughs> they, they created that to For have structure. Yes. <laughs> so we would have structure. Yeah. And and when time you have structure and everybody starting to say, well, we don't like that and we want to change it. Mm -hmm. Now you leave. Now you're not going to have structure anymore. You're going to have chaos. Well, because everybody's not on the same, not saying to the same tune. Well, you know what? One that's really one of the reasons that I'm a rule breaker. But let's face it, you got to have some rules. If you don't like the Constitution, follow the pr correct procedure to change it. Okay, and if it gets changed, then you and I have to say, oh, well, that's our country. If it doesn't, then these people need to say, oh, well. I don't even know what they want to change, but we just need to remember it's important. Well, I, I, you, know, I, I, you know, I'm going to say this, and once I learned what the defund the police was, yeah, that's a bad idea. Right. Well, maybe now, I, I understand that you got some that made some mistakes. Right. And they should have been punished for what they done. Mm -hmm. But you don't go around and just say, well, okay, we just going we're not gonna pay the police department. Are you crazy? That don't even make any sense. You either gonna have police, you're gonna have military, one of them gonna do it. Or the mercenary. Or the mercenary. Yeah. So we don't want to go mercenary and we don't want to go military. Right. So you might want to stay with policetary. Okay? Let's right. don't get carried we gotta, away. We got to wrap it up. That's a good way to end the show. I'm Rita Cook. And I'm Tommy Scott. And we are ECP TV. Thanks for watching.